I'm Catherine Botros, Community Developer Assistant. I'm in internship with SSI. SSI Local Area Coordination Program, Catherine's Story. My career goals, um, I plan to be ultrasound sonographer. In Egypt, I was a veterinary doctor. I working for around three years before I came to Australia. But after I came to Australia, my qualifications is not recognized. I need to start my study from beginning. Multiple sclerosis affect me in physical way. I can walk too much or stand too much. It affects sometimes my concentration. That's why I'm taking all my tasks in a writing way by email or by messages to make sure that I will remember what I need to do. I think the first barrier was English because English is not my first language. When I started to study my graduate diploma in medical ultrasound and I have good medical background as a vet doctor before, but I found one of my tutors there. He told me it's my first time to find someone with multiple sclerosis. And he said, What's, why you didn't keep yourself with biomedical science that you finished before? It's easier than ultrasound sonography. But for myself, I know I can do it. Uh, I asked the university to change my tutor because if he think I can do it, he can teach me to, to overcome my problems. After I get a new tutor, which was understanding my situation very well and how I'm working very hard, I get higher marks and I passed my clinical assessment from the first time, which is very hard. The difference between my first tutor and second tutor is just understanding. And at the end, no one can understand my situation more than myself. Yes, I have multiple sclerosis, but I'm able to be ultrasound sonographer. And by time, I prove to everyone that I can do it. I'm with multiple sclerosis, stronger person than before, because I already finished my bachelor degree in biomedical science. Even a normal student can take three years, but I finished that in two years and a half. Internship in SSI helped me a lot. It proved for me that I can develop my communication skills. Ivana, she's my manager. She's the one responsible of me during my internship. She's kind and she's professional at the same time. I remember my first time to present. She said, Catherine, you can do it. She's trusted on me, make me trust more on myself. She gave me personal adjustment. Ivana gave me more time to explain the tasks, some tasks for me, and send it to me, make sure that I understand how to achieve the tasks, make it easier for me to work. I need someone to support me to feel self-confidence more than to make a physical accommodation for myself. And that's what Ivana gave me. I think people with disability, if you give them more opportunities to have a job, it's better for them physically and to be more productive in the community. I think that's what Australia needs. I will not ask people with disability to give you 100% of what you want if you will not give them the right personal adjustment and accommodation. Trust me, if you give them that, they will give you more. Delivering the NDIS in your community. SSI.org.au 1800 960 SSILAC at ndis.gov.au